This week I decided to learn Bali song knife tricks. I'm gonna start with some basics and then build up to more complex tricks, more advanced tricks. Of course we won't be using a real knife, we're gonna be using a fake one which is mainly for practice. You can see, it's fake. So what I'm gonna do is learn three basic tricks, then I'm gonna combine all those basic tricks to create two more advanced, more complex tricks. We're gonna learn some, some stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, there are some things that you need to know. Like, if this was a real blade, and let's say that this one was the cutting edge of the blade, the other side is called the spine of the blade, the bite handle. And this one is the safe handle. The first trick that I will be learning is the basic opening or the double rollout. It's usually the first trick that we learn and you probably have seen it on TV shows, movies or games. You should hold the safe handle and flip the balisong knife open. The blade should be facing up and the bite handle down. Then you rotate it 180 degrees and flip the handle up. Sounds pretty simple, right? And I thought I would learn it in like one or two tries, but it wasn't that easy. At first it was like I was holding an object for the first time, or maybe like I was using my hands for the first time. And after doing the movement again and again, like a robot, I actually managed to get somewhere. And after a few minutes I started getting smoother. Okay, so I feel like the first level is complete. At first my movement was really awkward, right? Now it comes out smoothly, more smoothly. Check this out. Cool. A plus for the effort. The next trick is a rollover. You hold the knife like that, so you flick the knife and the knife goes around your thumb, you catch the handle and you flick it open. I was learning the standard rollover, but I think I learned it wrong because of the starting position. This one was a tricky one to learn because I was continuously dropping the knife down. And the knife was kinda stiff, it wouldn't open like a normal balisong knife. I had a problem actually yesterday, I put some oil on this thing and I could easily stain my couch. Sorry, you know, I was afraid doing that. But I think I passed the level 2 and I will show you in a second. So level 2 passed. Also, I did an oopsie here. I don't know if you can see it, but right here, I banged my knife. I was practicing a little bit, I was playing with the knife and if that was a real knife, I would, I would be dead now. The next trick is called the chaplin. It is a basic trick that I needed to learn in order to do the more complex tricks in the end. You basically flick the knife open, rotate it and place the blade over your index finger. And then you start spinning. This one was by far the worst one to learn. I was spinning it too fast and it was flying off or I was spinning it too slow and it was just falling down. I was doing it wrong, so I was doing that, but that's a mistake because I don't have any momentum to start. That's why the knife was just falling down every time. Let it go like that, flip it and then build mo start building momentum. And I'm afraid to put force here because it may go on the walls or on my desk or on my desktop. See? Almost got it. A few moments later. I think this is some kind of masochism actually. So yeah, let's say that I passed level 3. I was spinning it for a few seconds, but I barely passed, let's say that. And then it was time to learn the more complex tricks. The first one was behind the 8 ball. I will combine rollovers, chaplains and the basic opening to just close the knife. You start with a closed knife, you flip it open, you skip your index finger and stop it with your middle finger and you do a zero gravity chaplin. Then you stop the blade with an ok sign, you do a thumb roll over, stop the blade again, do another thumb roll over and flip the knife open. And guess what part was the hardest to learn? The chaplins. Why? Because I barely learned the chaplin and then I had to combine it with other tricks as well. At first I had to do it really slow because I wanted to learn the moves and the motions in order to do them faster. After failing so many times I started getting more comfortable with the trick. But it was worth it because the results would look pretty flashy and cool. After practicing for 2 or 3 hours I started succeeding in doing the trick. Not gonna lie, it looked pretty awesome. I know it wasn't smooth, it wasn't fast, but 
It was the best one I could get. It's been almost four hours, so I'm pretty tired right now. But I learned the intermediate one. I'm pretty sure I learned it. I'm not 100% successful with it. And for the second day of using a balisong knife, I thought that it was pretty cool. I had to learn one more complex trick. After getting some rest, the next day I was feeling kinda motivated. Even though my wrist was pretty sore, I wanted to learn that one more complex trick. And that's what I did. The last trick was my favorite and it's called Blender, which is often referred to as the cousin to behind the 8 ball. You start with the standard position and you flick the knife and do a reverse index rollover. It's basically the thumb rollover but on your index finger. Then you grab the handle and do a thumb rollover and then you grab again the handle and perform another thumb rollover and you flick the knife open. But instead of flicking the knife open and ending the trick, you can actually perform it once more because it looks kinda like a loop. But of course it's not easy to just continue doing the trick again and again. I know it wasn't that smooth, but that was the fastest one I could get. It was pretty fun learning the tricks. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.